Good morning, everybody. Um, one of the things that um, most alcohol art or ink artists run into is what do we do when we have lovely surfaces uh, that we would love to try out, but they're not actually, um, they're, they're porous. So what do we do? Well, a little bit of research and a little bit of hunting around and I found this product. Um, it's made by KLT Inks and it's based out of Ireland. Um, is to, to pour a surface converter. Um, so we're gonna give that a try today and see how it works. So basically what it tells us is to shake this around for about 30 seconds to a minute. Um, then we're gonna apply a couple of coats. Um, we have to watch out for air bubbles and then we will see what happens. So I have these little pieces of wood that my mom and I, um, I were gonna make jewelry out of them years ago and it just never kind of took off with us. Uh, so, uh, we're going to try using those. So I've got a small container that I put a little bit of the, uh, the surface converter into and I've got a soft brush. So I'm just going to give that a couple coats and we'll see what happens. Um, it is quite thin as you can see. Um, so yeah, making sure I have no air bubbles as I go feel like a bigger surface you might want to use a roller or something like that on it just to uh, get a nice even coat but it may be self-leveling because it's so thin so we'll see that how that goes so these have all been sanded down um, except for the ends of course because I just didn't get that far with them but figure they'll be great test size pieces so what we'll do, I also have some pieces that I've already um, put, um, used kilts on, which is one of the things I've seen recommended here and there, and it does give a fairly decent uh, surface to work with. Uh, you do get a little bit of ink spread, but we'll go into that a little bit later after I have these done. Paint, paint, paint. I do have quite a few air bubbles, so I'm not sure how you would get those out. I mean, if it was resin, I'd just torch it, but ha. <laughs> okay, so. I'll let those dry and I'll probably add another layer off camera and then um, probably later on today we'll give that a test with the actual inks. So that's it for now. Be back in a bit. Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, so I have a couple of things going on here. So I've got these four that I have done with three layers of the Kilti um, Sephora Surface Converter. And I've just sanded them just a little tiny bit uh, just because they there was a little bit of roughness on top. I don't know, that could have been because I had a little bit of sawdust in it. But anyways, um, what I found is that you definitely need to go with thinner coats as opposed to the thicker ones. Uh, just so you could get a much more even coat um, as well as no air bubbles. Uh, so that was one thing. Now on this side, I've got the Kilts Latex Primer, which is a multi-surface stain blocker. So this is one that's been recommended. Um, so this one has had two coats uh, that I just did with a brush and um, it's been sanded just a little bit as well so it has a fairly smooth finish because I wanted to kind of make sure we had an even even kind of setup for it so one thing about the KLT that I really like is it really does not take very much to do anything with so I've done these four plus I did uh, another 10 pieces and I can see I've hardly used any of it um, maybe uh, a third of what I had poured out so the rest of that's going back in the bottle um, so I'm really happy with that part. That's very, very like this bottle, uh, which is, uh, 500 milliliters is going to last me forever. <laughs> um, cause that was one thing I was worried about cause it is quite expensive as far as that size of bottle. But when you're getting that much out of it, not so much. 
Okay, so what I've got set up here is I'm just gonna do four little test strips. So we're gonna do one with straight alcohol ink on both surfaces, one with alcohol ink and 99% um, isopropyl alcohol, and one with a blending solution, and that's just the Tim Holtz uh, blending solution. And then I'm just gonna try a little painting on the last two to see how they kind of flow together. All right, so let's get started with that. Okay, so I have decided I'm gonna use uh, the Tim Holtz inks. Um, these are some of their new colors, so how exciting is that? Um, I've got the Laguna, uh, Fiesta, and the Dijon. Um, so I thought those would make a pretty decent color. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little bit in here while I'm doing this, just so, okay, so. All right, so just a little bit of Laguna on each of those so you can see you're getting some really good spreading with the uh, with the Kilty. I'm uh, actually really happy with that. It looks fantastic. Um, I'm kind of excited now to try it on a bigger surface. So the blooming that we're getting is definitely more pronounced with the Kilty and it looks like it's actually acting a lot more like um, doing if you do it on a tile or Yupo paper, which is awesome. So I've had to use, I'd have to use like three times as much because you're not getting the bloom out of the, um, out of the kilts that you are with the Kilty uh, surface preparer. So liking that a lot. Okay, so the next one we're gonna try is the with uh, the 99% alcohol. So I've just put that in a little uh, little bottle like this, but we'll put some in here just because I'm gonna paint later. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit across here. Okay, so. I don't know if you can see that, but on the kilt, it's actually staying quite dropped where on the uh, porous surface preparer, it has spread out quite nicely um, to cover the surface. So it's again, just one little drop. Do a couple of these and then I'll add another drop of alcohol to each one after I put them in. I put them on here. Probably did this a little bit backwards, but just one drop, one drop, one drop. Okay, my handy little pump. So you're getting some really good movement out of this, uh, the porous surface. Um, I'm kind of really liking that. Okay, so you're, you're, I'm finding that the uh, the kilty it's definitely staying on the surface more, whereas the kilt it is sinking in a little bit more than uh, than the other. All right, so next we're going to use just the Tim Holtz blending solution. Um, so I'm just going to a little bit, oops, a little bit more than a little bit. I'll put this in a smaller bottle later. Okay. So once again, the same kind of thing we're getting a little bit like this, you can definitely tell is staying on the surface where this is sinking in or the, uh, the blending solution sinking in on the kilts a little bit more. differently. <laughs> 
So I'm getting a lot more working time with the uh, the Kilti as well. Like this one is almost dry. Like it's not moving anymore where this, uh, the Kilti is still moving quite a bit. Oops. Ha. <laughs> All right, so that's kind of cool. All right, so the last one I'm gonna do just a little painting and see what happens here. So I've got just a little bit of the alcohol, 99% uh, there and a little bit of blending solution in there. And then each of my colors, oh, a little bit of yellow still on there, whoops. <laughs> Clean brushes, right? So I think if you didn't want your grain of your wood to show, what I would probably end up doing with this is combining them. So I would start out with the kilts just to get my coverage and then go over it with, um, with the, uh, uh, the, the kilty. You can see the uh, the kilt is definitely more porous and just sucking that uh, that ink right in. Definitely differences. So I kind of want to see how, when I add my straight ink, how that works, or straight alcohol ink. So this one is it. Seeing how it blooms. All right, so this one is the kilty, this one is the kilts, and you can definitely see you're gonna get a lot more movement out of the kilty because um, it is staying on the surface and is actually, uh, you're getting the blooms are bigger um, and yeah, it's definitely, it's shinier because the ink is on the surface instead of uh, where this one is quite a bit more dull because it has actually absorbed in. So looking at this one, this one once again was the blending solution. So you're getting a lot softer edges on the kilts, of course, because it is soaking into the, uh, the primer there. This is your 99%. And this is your straight ink. So all in all, I am really happy with the Kilti. Um, it is absolutely fantastic as far as keeping your, your inks on the surface, which is, as uh, alcohol ink artists we all know, uh, is a really good thing. Um, but like I said, if I didn't want to see the actual grain of my wood, I would in the future do my kilts first as the primer just to like get that nice and coated and get the um, the absorption rate. Plus it is a lot cheaper than the uh, the, kel the kelty. Um, and then I would put the kelty on top of that just to, uh, to make that surface more porous and probably two coats would be fine instead of three or four to, uh, to kind of get rid of that graining. But... Anyways, I am kind of in love with this stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to try it on some bigger pieces and then we will see how that turns out. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Have a good day.